Rabbi Nachman speaks in many Torahs about attaching oneself to the tzaddik of the generation. The question is, who is the tzaddik of the generation today? How do the Breslavers hold? Is it Rabbi Nachman, or does it mean a physically living person in every generation? The answer is that in Breslav Hasidus, there are two opinions, basically, that I'm familiar with. There's one opinion, which is pretty much a majority opinion, that Rabbi Nachman is the tzaddik of the generation from his time until the coming of Moshiach, that no one else carries that title. There are tzaddikim in every generation, but the term tzaddik hador, the leading tzaddik of the generation, refers to Rabbi Nachman. All the other leaders are in the category of students. They are leaders, they are rabbis, we turn to them for advice and guidance, but we don't look at them as the tzaddik hador in the context that Rabbi Nachman refers to. There's another opinion that says that, that Rabbi Nachman, from the time that he was living until Moshiach, is a leader of Klal Yisrael. However, in addition to him, there needs to be a physically living person in the generation who is attached to Rabbi Nachman, who is the physically living example of the presence of Rabbi Nachman in the generation. The different rabbis that I had carried these different opinions. I try personally to respect both. When my Rebbe Rav Rosenfeld, Zechran of Rocha, was living, told his students, the person who he felt was the Tzadik Hadoyer, during the time of Rabbi Avram Sternhartz, Rabbi Avram Koch of Leiv, who lived for 93 years. Rav Rosenfeld felt positive that he was the leading tzaddik of the generation. After he passed away, Rav Rosenfeld searched, and then the person who he attached himself to was Rabbi Leo Chaim Rosen, Zechrein Avrocha, who passed away shortly after Rav Rosenfeld, Zechrein Avrocha, which is 40 years ago, approximately. For now, I'd like to leave it at this. In terms of this being accepted by the majority of tzaddikim, not necessarily. We know, for example, we're approaching Lag Boimer now, the holiday that celebrates the yard site of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. We're told that when his Rebbe, when Rabbi Akiva was about to pass away, he gathered the students and he appointed Rabbi Meir to be the Rosh Yeshiva after Rabbi Akiva passes away. And when he turned to Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, Zal, he said to him, Your greatness only Hashem and I know. So sometimes it could appear that there's a person who's the leading Rosh Yeshiva, who is a tremendous Talmud Chacham and tremendous greatness, and yet it doesn't necessarily mean that he's the greatest tzaddik. It could be someone else.